Welcome back to the Rugby Booth channel. A bit of a different video. Yes, I know, we talk about rugby all the time, but it's Bleda Slow coming up. And so with that, we've decided to do our vision of Bleda Slow. Did this last year. We did the uh, Bake Off where we had a Pavlova off, basically a Rugby 08 challenge, and then a Deadlift challenge. This year we're starting with Steak Cook-Off. He must, he must want to lose one because well, first of all, there is no world in which a New Zealander is better than an Australian at a barbecue. And second, there's no galaxy in which Luke could cook a better steak than I can. My steak against Hughes' steak. Whose steak is better? Who can hold the mantle of being the real man in this duo, this partnership, this Bledisloe battle? So pre the Bledisloe kicking off, we thought we'd start our own fight and fire. I'm obviously New Zealand, an All Blacks fan. He's a Wallabies Australian, so we're kicking it off like that. Rules are simple, got to be a steak, that's about it. Cook the steak how you want, you can do any extras you want, gets judged out of 10. Does Hughes have an unfair advantage? Yes, why? Because he and his girlfriend to have it. What I've done is invite two of the rugby boys from my rugby club over to have the steak and judge me on it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we've got this lovely ribeye on the bone, also known as a cattleman's cutlet. Oh, you think you're fancy? Um, this has been dry brining in the fridge for the last two days with some kosher salt um, working its way into the meat and tenderizing it. The all importance is the steak. Went to the butcher earlier this morning. Steak. Feels good, sounds good, smells good. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? We've got some uh, potatoes here that I'm going to roast in duck fat and season with this lovely roast vegetable salt that's going to come out just uh, lovely and to sort of complement that because we've got two very sort of heavy dishes we're going to have a light polished cucumber and sour cream salad with some dill and some lemon juice garlic in there boiling the potatoes i hope that's a little secret weapon is my little cheeky roast potatoes that we're going to get in there you know it's going to be great um where the way we're going to be cooking the steak is we're going to reverse sear it so it's going to slow cook uh for a bit on the barbecue in indirect heat once it comes up to the internal temperature, which I'll be measuring via my digital thermometers to exactly the right digital, uh, to the right internal temperature. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to take it off, put it onto a ripping hot pan, baste it with some butter, garlic, fresh rosemary from our herb garden outside, and give it a really nice crust while still keeping it really nice and pink in the middle. Um, there's, there's no way I lose this challenge. Already getting in the way in the kitchen. Uh, looking to deliver the performance of a lifetime because I know I'll need it. Hughes is a well-known chef in the old grilling world, a barbecue man. Um, so it's going to take one hell of a performance to get the job done, but we'll come back later. Get in my belly! Potatoes gone from boiled into the said oven. Looking like lovely, looking, they're going to be crispy. And I'm hoping lads get here in the next five, ten minutes. Those probably have another 40 minutes on the line, um, in the oven, I should say, not on the line. Then we go on to the steak. Obviously, we've got to wait to, to work out how they want their steaks. Um, how they want their steaks. But yeah, to me, should be pretty cruisy. Cannot, cannot fathom. If you haven't watched it, watch last year's performance. When I tried to do the Pavlova, it was a disaster. It can't be a bigger disaster than that. It's gonna, I'm gonna deliver at least something this time. I know Hughes, he's, he's probably spicing it up. Go and have a watch of what he's doing right now. He's probably spicing up something. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> he's doing something, he's getting down, he's getting his hands dirty, but can I deliver the ultimate ambush of a performance right now? Let's see. <laughs> all right, we are fucking all go with the steak, lads. We've got our ribeye here now. It's been sitting in its seasonings for a little bit now. You can see some of the moisture starting to draw up to the top. It's gonna to be soaking those uh, herbs and spices in there. What we're gonna do now, we've got the barbecue on. We've only got the left hand most burner on. Uh, I'll show you in a second, but I wanna preserve the heat. It's on a very, very low temperature, just above 100 degrees centigrade, uh, about 230 Fahrenheit. Um, we're gonna uh, be putting the ribeye on, not where the burner is on. We're gonna be putting it on the opposite end to do what's known as indirect cooking or reverse sear. I've got in here my little digital temperature probe that'll let me capture the internal temperature at all times. 
so I'll know exactly how the steak's cooking. That's going to take some time. We'll be back to sear it off. Let me fork in a lush. Pokey on the Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. There you go. Steak is looking luscious, lads. I'm not going to lie. We could be in contention for a win here. Uh, so how is this going to be like judged overall? The lads will judge it out of 10. Uh, it's up to the discretion. Up to your discretion how you judge it. Um, but your scores will obviously relate. Now it helps that Joshy was born in Australia, so he's going to be the fairest judge of them all. Because obviously I'm representing New Zealand. Uh, so... Yeah. But just be fair, it's, it's, it doesn't really matter because he's getting his girlfriend to judge his, so he's probably going to get 10 anyway. And I'm pretty much really sure. Exactly. All right, so our steaks are just below the temperature we want. What we're going to do now is we're going to sear it in this uh, pan over here with this butter, garlic, rosemary. It's going to be really nice. we've developed a really nice crust on the side that was down. We've just flipped it. It's coming out really nice. Very happy with that so far, but the real test will be when we cut into it. The deliciousness is delivered. We'll be the judge there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, we've seared the steak. As you can see, it's got a really nice crust on it. We even seared the sides here to get it there. We've been letting it sit for just over five minutes now. So now we're going to cut into it. Now with a ribeye, this top section here is called the spinellus, and it's separated by your sort of fillet here in the middle by this little layer of fat. So what we're going to do to carve into this first is we're going to separate the spinellus from the rest of the steak. The spinellus is really, really tender. And let's take a look at how our steak is gone here. It's very fatty, this bit, but that's okay. What our true test is gonna be, will be in the fillet and in a sideways slice of the spinellus. So let's slice through the spinellus there. Look at that lovely pinkness there. Just a touch over rare, which is where we like it. Now, let's take a look at our fillet here. And I'm gonna, I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna do it just for the sake of this video. I'm gonna cut straight through the middle of the fillet. And get a nice cross section. Look at that. Pink all the way up and down, just a thin line of gray. If you look at this section here, you can see how juicy that steak is. All right, we're gonna slice the rest of this, eat and get a score. No worries. Grace. You wanna see? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not, not bad fucking at bad at all. Yeah. Alright, so we have our plate. We've also done a creamy pepper sauce. We've got our drinks, beer, gin and tonic. Now it is judgment time. So Paulina here is going to judge the steak. So this is without sauce. it up some honest feedback joshy pookie beer start uh, us off steak with garlic by the absolute classic big fan of choice um well cooked very tender 
we're, we're starting at an eight, but uh, let me think about it some more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before you eat anything else, what do you rate the steak? 10 out of 10. Okay, great. Good score. Let's try the uh, potatoes now. Okay. It's taken so much self discipline not to tear into my own plate. The sacrifices I make for our content. Yeah, just to go on what Joshy said, he's really hit the fucking uh, <laughs> nail on the head there. Great, great uh, cut of meat that selected by Luke Bowden. Cooked perfectly, medium rare. I'll give it, a, give it an 8 4. Can you fry the sauce? Uh, you can do, yeah. The sauce is mainly intended for the the steak, yeah. but I think it'll go nice with the potatoes. Mm, yeah. I like the sauce even more with the potatoes. With the potatoes? Okay, so 10 out of 10 for those as well. Yeah, All right, now the cucumber salad. So this is cucumber, sour cream, red onion, lemon, salt. Really simple, but really nice and refreshing mm. next to the, the sort of salty savouriness of the steak and the potatoes. It goes really well. It's really nice. Refreshing. A little bit of dill in there as mm. well. Eight four. Love that. Need a score, <laughs> Pookie. I need a score from you. Yeah, garlic brother brings that to at least an eight five. Eight five. We love that. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> so overall score of a ten out of ten, you'd say. Well, there you have it, folks. Hard to beat that, Luke. <laughs> better luck next year. There it is. Our scores from the boys uh, on the New Zealand side. Um, Hughesy, I'm sure your missus is going to give you a 10 and you're going to win this anyway, so fuck off. He's absolutely right. Um, <laughs> but we shall be back again uh, to do Goal Kicking Challenge as our second challenge on the books. So stay tuned for that one if you haven't already. And now dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I, <actually think> <laughs> so. <laughs> I may have some if you want. I do. What a treat, how good is that? Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, hey, nah, yeah. it's a nine, it's a nine. <laughs> <laughs>